make the back for the stick dulcimer, we can either select a, piece, a single piece of timber, for example this is um, a piece of flamed maple that came from a guitar back um, that I've cut out, and this is one piece of wood, um, or we can join two pieces of wood. In this example I've, I've, I've taken a piece of cherry and I've cut it into half, and now we have a book match piece of cherry. I'm using this is a piece of cherry wood which is which is actually just flat sawn, it's not quarter sawn wood. But what I've done is I've looked at the end grain and I've seen that at this side of the wood there it's almost quarter sawn. It's it's going it's from rift to, to quarter sawn at the very end. So what I've done is I've marked on the side here so that this part of the, the instrument is going to be quarter sawn timber. Uh, and slightly going towards flat sawn towards the upper end. I'm just combining two pieces of plywood and a piece of waste cherry, which is going to be the stop. Now this is going to be glued uh, so that it's at right, an right angles to this, um, just using the square. Um, once this is glued, then I'm going to use this to plane the, the two pieces for the back. Okay, so we have our stop here, and we have our board built up, uh, so it's just above the height of the, the blade here. Okay, and we tape together the two pieces of cherry. So all we do is we hold it against the stop, and we use... An alternative to using a hand plane is to make up a special sanding stick, again of a purchased wood that you can buy, there's already pre-square. Pre um, you just glue or sellotape the sandpaper along one edge, and then you use this with the same device again. Um, you lay the board against here and you rub the sandpaper up and down. Okay, so we have our two pieces. And what we're going to do now is um, glue it up with a piece, a strip of walnut. This is a piece of walnut uh, about two millimeters thick um, that I've cut off from a piece I had. This is going to go in the center uh, and make a. I've just cut it so it's just slightly oversized. Make sure we must make sure that the plane surface is going to go down. That's the datum, the the, the front, the board. This is the datum. Um, and we're going to use sellotape to help us glue up. So what we do, we, had, we put three pieces of sellotape around a board. Now these are going to, it's just the wrong way around. We're actually, this is with the sticky side outwards. But it needs to take to itself so that it, it stays in position. So that's the first one. And we'll do two more. Okay, so we have three pieces of sellotape here. And what we're going to do, we're going to quickly put... We're going to put the glue along this edge. We're going to hold this in position for the moment. Glue on this edge. Okay, and we're going to hold this in position. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to, this is quite tricky, we hold this at a slight angle.
Okay, so we hold this at an angle with a little V-shaped groove and we're going to insert the walnut in. This is this is quite tricky now. We press all right, okay. In theory the Celtic is pushing um, the joint together. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put some light cramps along here uh, to hold this in position. Um, what it's useful doing is putting something over um, I'm just going to put a piece of tape over this. This is just to stop the, the wood that I'm going to use uh, sticking to the sellotape. And later on it's easy to take off. What I'm doing now is using a scraper to just slightly taper the edges of the of the of the back. This is the actual back of the instrument, uh, and I'm just going to take it down just half a millimeter or so around the edge. If the back is very flexible, I will put one strut here at the mid widest point and another strut near the sound, the sound hole. But for this example, I think I'm just going to go for a single one diagonally across the bottom. Um, and before I glue the top on, I will also put some reinforcement strips along the top, along this strip here, along with the label.